What up, brothers? It's the Clipper King returning. Whoa, alt cut. Let me say that right. I know Mike Sohn likes to pronounce things correctly, but uh, I'll just remind him English language is ours, Mike, yeah? Y'all have just fucked it up. So I'll talk how I want to talk, yeah? So, anyway. What up, brothers? It's the Clipper King returning. And as you know, I've got another revisited review for you. Uh, just give a little look at uh, Top Shelf before we do, because I ain't cleaned her out yet. Just uh, show you lads' poses before we carry on. We're going to be doing Blade from Blade 2. As you know, if you've seen the uh, recap video that I put on a couple of days ago. Got that bear motherfucker for you. Gave some awesome poses and all that. Let you enjoy. Superman. Wolverine. It's the head sculpt I'm sticking with, boys. You might think I'm wrong. I think I'm right, but uh, I'm not going to argue over that. Batman Begins, obviously Joker. Right, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get this top shelf cleared out, I'm going to get the box in, and I'm going to uh, revisit this figure. So stick with me, brothers. Right, as you can see, top shelf now cleared out. Got the box in, looking fucking mint. And the figure, pretty basic pose to start with. We'll get a little bit more dynamic as we roll on. But uh, I'm going to talk through the figure, and this were uh, good pose just to show you sort of how the harness is working everything else a little bit more in detail but before we do roll on just make a couple of quick announcements uh, if my opening did seem a little bit hostile towards uh, Mike Sohn that's not the case me and Mike Sohn like to have a joke back and forth uh, you probably saw his Bucky Barnes video where he uh, ripping piss out Clipper King a bit and then all of a sudden turned into uh, we were having a laugh when he got called on it by a few members at community. So, yeah, this is just a laugh back towards Mike Sohn, and um, I might mention him, but like I say, it's nothing hostile, just two great friends just joshing away together. So, uh, first off, just uh, like to say a few words that only Mike could probably know. <coughs> I know he knows what that means. He says it in every fucking review. But uh, I will uh, move on by saying... If you're wanting a sick and bananas review that is just the most sick and bananas review you're ever going to see, then I don't think that this one's going to be sick and bananas enough for you. So if you do, like I said, want a sick and bananas uh, review, you better pop over to his Bucky Barnes statue because that one was sick and bananas. So uh, I can't stress enough. It would definitely sick and bananas. But anyway, trying to do a review with more than uh, three sentences. So... As I said, when I first got the uh, Blade figure, I loved the box. It was quite different to everything I'd seen at that point. It was quite an early figure, if I remember rightly. It was the shoebox style, which I don't think I'd had up to that time. Obviously, we now know that all the Marvel are coming in the shoebox style uh, box. And I do like the artwork on the front. Obviously, it's the Blade 2 DVD cover. Just a simple design, poster inside. Uh, you do get the um, accessories on the inside of the lid and also surrounding blade just really nice functional box excellent artwork I do like the like ghost effect on the uh, I think it's the Nomad character as well I do like that like I say just awesome box I got it in good condition which I was chuffed about I don't remember now I bought it off but uh, I remember I paid a really nice price for it now one of the other things I do like about this figure is it sort of went through roof pretty fast so I'm glad I got on it when I did because uh, a lot of people now say that this is one of the most sought after figures and understandably so it's definitely a keep in my collection uh, yeah I said keep them Mike because some people do buy things and actually keep them but uh, like I say you buy and sell what you want to do um, but yeah this would be uh, staying at Clipper King's uh, collection a long time but I want to say too much just um, show you how I've got it sort of thing let you get a bit of detail on the gun harnesses I've got in pose just pretty spread pose head slightly down glasses on obviously looking fucking mean got his main Uzi style gun and his blade or sword whatever and just got him spread so I'll move on I'll repose her up and uh, get back with ya moving on signature pose probably expecting me to do this towards end of review switched it up on you because I wanted to do it before I put the long trench coat on pretty straight up and down pose You've got him kind of an hero pose I do like to see it like I said before with the gun straight out so you would be looking into his eyes 
and he's uh, down the barrel of his gun. The, the reason I've done it with the uh, bomber jacket on and not the um, trench coat is because I'm going to take this opportunity to show you the fucking awesome work on his tattoos on his back. Before I move to that, I'll just show you how his, uh, his sword fits onto his back. Obviously, the gun harnesses there and the back of his flight jacket, sort of here. There's a catch. The, the uh, sword sits in really nice. Work down the trowel. As you can see, obviously, he's got his uh, stakes, silver stakes. If I bring him down a touch, I can do a full rotation. You can see his fade, obviously. The air, then down to the tattoos, which look fucking awesome. Just the perfect colour of the tattoos. I mean, I've got a tattoo on my wrist. It's not a massive one, it's just kids' names, but the colour that they've painted this is actually nearly bang on to the colour of my wrist tattoo. So, yeah, it just looks like it really is a, uh, really is a tattoo. You can see the detail all around his face where the tattoo goes. Just a fucking awesome head sculpt for its time. I'm going to take glasses off in a minute, don't worry. See the texture on the air. The veins and everything on his face. Fucking awesome work by Hot Toys, this one. Like I say, again, camera stuck on his fucking gun. See the veins on his head. Really nice. Dead ringer as well for Wesley Snipes. And like I said, they really do like his hairstyle because they could have gone all out with this figure and tried to make him look like uh, Artist Man on Planet, Mike own. They could have uh, given him a full on mohawk, but uh, they probably realised if they did, they'd make him look like a proper twat. And they probably decided not to. But that's probably because they knew that Wesley Snipes wouldn't stand a, uh, wouldn't stand a chance against Golden Gloves champ Mike own. Obviously, when he's got that kind of money as well, he's going to be able to uh, hire a thousand hitmen. So, yeah, Blade just won't fuck with Mike Sone if he knew what good for him. And also, Blade would probably never a Marine, so he's just not badass like Mike is. But uh, anyway, but yeah, pretty much show you. Obviously, I'll show you it gun as well while it's close to the camera. You've probably all seen it. I'm not showing sure you not new, but. Just keeps me from downstairs for an hour while she's watching fucking soaps and shit. But yeah, awesome, awesome piece. I'm gonna roll on. Start fucking about getting the uh, gun harnesses off his belt. As you can see, it attaches to his belt there. And obviously the slings go over his shoulders. Fuck about taking that off. Get the flight jacket off and bomber jacket. Get his trench coat. In fact, I might do one more pose actually like this, but I might move it on. But anyway. Stick with Clipper King Brothers and uh, try and treat you to something fresh and new. I'm going back to him. Like I said, left the bomber jacket on because I think I better talk about it when I mention the uh, outfit. Really do still like this outfit. In fact, excuse me, let me just pan out first, like have a look at pose. You can see, got him on sort of a look I'm going for is if you want like a uh, rooftop, just looking down, got his twin ballers ready to go. Just having a little browse, got his front foot forward, just ready to push off, off at back foot, spring into action. Maybe throw in a cheeky little somersault, down to the ground, fucking boss some vampire ass. So that's the look I've gone for there. Uh, but like I said, back to his outfit. As you can see, his uh, flat jacket's got like a leathery look to it. Really nice and close. Like I said, if you're not watching in HD, if you do, it'll take a longer time to buff, but I think it is worth it. Um, you get the... Uh, you can see sort of greyed at, greyed at leather and everything and the materials. Obviously the fucking awesome head sculpt as well. In fact, let's just uh, take them bad boys off. Look, look in his eyes, brothers. Fucking hell, he's not happy. Jesus. Oof, bad man. Uh, pulling away. Only thing now, looking back, I never really mentioned were the thinness of the trousers. Really thin, like, pleather kind of material. Nowhere near the standard of the new Batman cape or the uh, T-800 leather. Nowhere near as good as that. The uh, coat's a little bit better, but it's like a painted leather sort of thing. But uh, I'll talk about that once it's on him. The bomber jacket is proper bomber jacket, like nylon material, stitched to look like it's uh, 
like a puffer jacket sort of thing. It looks really nice. Gloves obviously sculpted. Boots are sculpted. Really well done. I do think his feet are a little bit small, and I always thought that. But it might just be a design at boot, but uh, I'm not going to go all sideshow or fucking anal on it. Start mentioning the size of his foot compared to the size of his head or whatever. They're good enough, but I always thought they were a little bit on small size. But, oh, Wesley Snipes, stop it. Oof, bad man. Yeah, mean motherfucker. So I'm going to roll her on. Oh, just mention, a lot of people that I've seen, they don't put the um, the throwing blades. You can fold them back on themselves and they will go onto the front of his harness. And I noticed a lot of people don't do it. I know some do. But uh, some don't, but they will fit in there. So I'll just uh, show you that while his coat's off. So, yeah, I'm going to roll her on, get her reposed, probably get her redressed, and I'll get back with you. Right, just before I repose it and redress it, one thing I will point out uh, about this figure for anybody who uh, didn't pick it up or still have not had a chance to see it. Really good thing with his flap jacket, and if I compare it to the Barney Ross one where you had to fuck about and strap it up around the sides, stroke of genius with this figure. Around the back, it's just got four, four, uh, four clips on like an elasticated section of his thing. So all you do is unclip those four and pull that back bit up over his head and it comes off really nice and easy. No fucking about, no messing about with straps or fucking them tiny bottles. They just got it bang right. I thought I'd show you that. Might not be of interest, but fuck it. My review, my rules. Right, you're probably thinking, what's he doing with your fucking new goblin stand from Spider-Man 3? Surely you never picked that figure up. Now, you're right, I didn't. I did pick this base up, though. The simple reason is, it comes with a translucent pole. For a lovely little jumping pose, brothers. You can see, got blade leaping down, looking fresh as fuck. Still got his twin ballers, filming into the light, so it might look a bit dull. This. Oh, blade! What are you doing, sunshine? You'll know what you're doing. Making a fucking badass leap down to the ground. Put him like that because I'm at full extent at pole where it'll go. Because I wanted to get his uh, coat wafting open, which I've kind of got, and I do like that pose. Again, I'd never leave it in that pose, because I think, oh, they're fucking about in this bedroom when our Callum and his mates are around, he'd just get knocked clean of her, so I'd never leave him like that, but for a photo opportunity, fucking hell, you know that looks fresh, and I'm not playing games with you. So when you look at Blade in a pose like that, it could be a statue, and talking about statues, if, if you want to catch a cheeky little review on a statue, you need to get across to Mike's channel, because, oof, that lad, when he's not preaching about racism or when the world's going to end or like that, fucking hell, that man can review a statue. And good thing with Mike's review is, by the time he's got to end a review, he's normally, bored, he's normally bored with it. He's normally bored with thing that he's been fucking craving for for months. So what he'll do is, he'll attach it to a cheeky little sale video for you. And you can swoop down with Mike and pick up a cheeky little bargain because his attention span's quite short. So yeah, if, like I say, if you can avoid all preaching videos and fucking... Uh, telling us when the world's going to end and how racism works and all that. Get around all that and, like I say, you see a good PF review and, like I say, make him an offer and he, he's bound to take it. He's Mike. See, he, he loves your money. you got loads already, but he likes some more. That's how he works. But, um, anyway, I hope you like that pose, because I fucking do. And uh, I'll roll her on. See if you can squeeze you one or two more new ones out, brothers. Leave it with me.